Mike Ulrich was born 20 July, 1929, he was the owner of Detroit Tigers, Detroit Red Wings and founder of Little Caesars Pizza, a graduate of Cooley High School in Detroit, Michigan, Ulrich served in the U.S. Marine Corps for four years, after his return home to Detroit, the Detroit Tigers offered him $3,000 if he would sign to play baseball, and Ilrich had a four-year minor league career from 1952 to 1955. Ilrich played mostly second base for the Tigers, New York Yankees, and Washington Senators organizations in the Pennsylvania, Ontario, New York League, Cotton States League, and Florida International League. He was forced out of his playing career due to a knee injury. After leaving baseball, Ilrich started a pizza business in 1959, with the help of his wife, Marion. The Illiches opened Little Caesars Pizza Treats in Garden City, Michigan. As of 2017, the family's entities remain privately held. In 1999, the Illiches established Illich Holdings, Inc. to provide their various enterprises with professional and technical services. They hold the titles of Chairman and Vice Chairwoman, respectively. The combined total revenues for these enterprises in 2007 reportedly exceeded 1.8 billion. Illich had fallen off Forbes magazine's annual list of the 400 richest Americans, but in 2006 he returned to the list at number 242. As of December 2016, he was number 86 on the Forbes 400, and had an estimated net worth of 6.1 billion. In 2000, Illich and his wife appointed two of their children as co-presidents of Illich Holdings, Inc., Christopher Illich and Otto Denise Illich an attorney. Christopher Illich was named to the new post of CEO and president. Denise Illich has left the privately held company to pursue other opportunities. In November 2003, Detroit Red Wings owner Mike Illich shows off his Hockey Hall of Fame ring in the Great Hall with the original Stanley Cup in the background in Toronto. The first Little Caesars store Mike and Marion Eilich invested their $10,000 life savings to open the first Little Caesars store in Garden City in 1959. Detroit Red Wings and Detroit Tigers owner Mike Eilich smiles with his wife Marion, during induction ceremonies for the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame in Detroit, Tuesday, 30 March, 2004. In 1977, Mike Eilich whose Caesars professional softball team doesn't figure to make money this year, but which Illich insists can be a paying proposition in the future. A young Steve Isman and Red Wings owner Mike Illich shake hands in a 1983 photo from Isman's rookie year with the Wings. In 1985, Detroit Mayor Coleman Young eats a slice of pizza at a fundraiser for the hungry in Detroit. It was sponsored by Little Caesars Pizza, owned by Mike Illich. In 1997, Mike Illich shakes hands with the parade goers down Woodward Ave after winning the Stanley Cup. Detroit Mayor Dennis Archer and Governor John Engler shake the hands with Marion and Mike Illich during groundbreaking ceremonies at the site of the new Tigers Stadium in Detroit, the 29th of October, 1997. Tigers manager Jim Leyland, right, with Marion and Mike Illich after the Tigers defeated the Oakland Athletics 6-3 in Game 4 of the 2006 ALCS at Comerica Park to advance to the World Series on Saturday, 14 October, 2006. Mike Illich, founder of Little Caesars Pizza, serves pizza slices to the homeless in Washington in 2007. He also owns the Detroit Red Wings and Tigers. Mike and Marion Illich house the Stanley Cup on 16 June, 1998 in Washington, D.C. after the Red Wings won their second consecutive NHL title by sweeping the Capitals, Vyacheslav Kozlov is at left. Detroit Red Wings owner Mike Illich and his family released Sunday in the press release plenty of details about a bold $650 million plan to build a new hockey arena and entertainment district downtown the investment expected to transform downtown, will include tens of millions of dollars in public infrastructure improvements such as lighting, sidewalks, green spaces and streets concurrently with arena construction, according to a press release, Illich's private investment of at least $200 million for new, mixed-use development is expected to help transform dozens of blighted blocks into five new neighborhoods, the project, expected to be completed in the summer of 2017, is expected to generate at least $1.8 billion in total economic impact, 8,300 construction and construction-related jobs and 1,100 permanent jobs.
It's always been my dream to see a vibrant and energized downtown Detroit, Illich said in a statement. I want people to look at Detroit's new sports and entertainment district and see what I see, the potential for something very special. I couldn't be more excited and proud to bring this vision to life. The district will encompass dozens of blocks along and near Woodward Avenue. Development in the district will be integrated with the Fox Theatre, Comerica Park, home of the Illich owned Detroit Tigers, Motor City Casino Hotel, Ford Field, home of the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Opera House, the Fillmore Detroit, and more. We've done business in Detroit for nearly 50 years, and this is our most significant and ambitious project here yet, said Christopher Illich, president and CEO of Illich Holdings. In a statement, Detroit deserves no less than the best, a world-class sports and entertainment district we can all be proud of, and that's exactly what we will build. Mike Illich is remembered on the marquee of the Fox Theatre on Friday, the 10th of February, 2017 in downtown Detroit. fans, thank you for being here for one of the great traditions in our city, as well as the 25th opening day since Mike Illich first became owner of the Detroit Tigers. We now ask that you join us as we take a moment to celebrate his life. Please turn your attention to the video board in left field as we begin with a special video tribute. Mr. Illich was such a great man. Uh, he meant the world to me. He made me feel like uh, almost like a family member. He was like a father figure of sorts. He was the definition of generosity, selflessness, and family. Um, if you're going to meet you, thank you for what you do in what you do for our team, what you do for our family. He was a honor and uh, an honor like Mr. Perry. He just did it for the right reasons to be. He wanted to bring the title back to Detroit. That was all he really cared about. That's all he wanted. He wasn't in it for money and business. He just he was in it for love of the game. Mr. Illich was an ex-baseball player, a fantastic owner, someone who cared deeply about the city of Detroit and the Detroit Tigers. He's going to be this. Well, Mr. I came into the room. It was a immediate turn of attention towards him. Whether or not he's talking, it would matter. Which he always was, and he's always joking, which I thought was hilarious. And you could tell he really cared, and that was that was his passion. It, even if you met him for a couple minutes, you could tell this was what he cared about. And he was a baseball player. Dreams do come true in Detroit. One of the great turnaround stories in all of sports on the stage. Michael Illich is Lloyd Marion, owner of the Detroit Tigers. He had a lot of passion for his team. He had a lot of passion for his players. He loved his players. And he wanted to win. He wanted to win in the worst way. He, uh, he was a tough guy. Uh, and he went about his business uh, in a very serious manner. But however, you know, he always made it fun. You know, he was a guy that liked to laugh and, and made a family atmosphere for all of us. We feel that like we have to get something done for him. But he, he has done too much for us as a group. Everybody is excited to get the season going and then uh, you know, play this season before Mr. Mr. Allen. I don't think anybody wanted to win a championship more than I did. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say I don't want it to be the rally cry, um, but, you know, man, wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't it be great if this would be the year? Uh, no one's ever looking down on us. Rest in peace Mike Illich.